At the turn of the 20th century, higher education was an elusive quest for young women. Yet in 1903, the McDonald Institute opened its doors, dedicated to educating women in domestic science. OAC professor of dairying, James Robertson, and Adelaide Hoodless, founder of the Women's Institute movement, championed the new school. Together, they approached Sir William MacDonald for support, a Montreal tobacco magnate and educational philanthropist. In its first year, 30 students attended under Dean Dr. W. H. Muldrew. Upon his death in 1904, Mary Watson was made principal, a role she served in until 1920. Early graduates went on to teach home economics in both elementary and secondary schools. As Canada made significant technical progress in textiles, canning, and freezing during the war years, the Institute offered new curriculum to prepare their students for the changing workforce. During World War II, the Royal Canadian Air Force appropriated the college to instruct personnel in nutrition and commercial meal preparation. After the war, increased growth created a four-year degree program, and by 1950, nearly 7,000 graduates had passed through these doors. Much like the egg and vet colleges, students developed close bonds within their individual class years. Today, classes and programs related to nutrition, family relations, and community engagement are still taught in the building to both women and men.